Hello again. So, the John Wick 4 trailer dropped today. <laughs> so, we are now reaching the conclusion. As of March of 2023, we will now have an end to one of the best sagas in action film history. And so what have we learned? Like with any trailer, you're supposed to have a very strong understanding of what you're getting into as an audience. And we do. This, this, we open up in a cathedral. And there's always been this very strong presence like there's there's been a sobriety to the john wick series with regards to the finality of it all which i think is not really embraced a lot by most action movies in general uh especially someone who's like you know you you cut your teeth on action movies of the 80s and the 90s you know the, a lot of this was I mean it was it was exciting it was fun the senseless explosions the fights the shootouts and things like that but I mean it's all handled in the idea that good guy versus bad guy good guy wins type thing John Wick has always had a very different attitude towards its protagonist and how the story plays out contrary to most. So we start in a cathedral, of all places, in a cathedral. In a cathedral. And Donnie Yen, right next to Keanu Reeves, and they're having this meditation, this dialogue, about where John now finds himself. And we further learn that, okay, with the events of films one through three behind us, we now also have a premise, a possibility, an exit for John Wick out of the situation that he's found himself in, in films two and three. And that is, he must meet with an agent of the high table, the Marquis de Glamour, the great executioner, Marquis of, Marquis of Death, essentially. And he must meet this young man. Now, this young man, I... Well, that's the thing. Like, they, they, they have this young man saying that the high table is under new management. New management. I, I'm pretty sure it's not like an overhaul. Uh, even with the amount of chaos and devastation that, that we got... Uh, to the high table in John Wick 3. Yeah. I, I, I don't think they're changing their ways too drastically. Doubtful. Anyways. This Marquis de Guamon must meet John in single combat. And the victor... Okay, it is a battle to the death. If John wins, he will have, he will have his freedom. You know? You will have absolution from everything that has happened up to this point. Ah, and, and you know what? That seems like a good bargain, doesn't it? That seems like... You know, because you see this kid. You see this kid. And you say, like, okay, he's not nearly as experienced. You know? I mean, he probably doesn't, he probably doesn't have one-tenth, not even a fraction, of the skill that the John Wick... Emissario de Mor, you know, the, age, the emissary of death has at his, you know, in his arsenal, his, his techniques, his experience. He doesn't have that. So this, this, should be, this should be nothing, right? This should, be, this should be child's play. Ah, certain stipulations. Both contestants in this duel must meet at a designated place, at a designated time. Now, if one of the participants is unable to be at the designated place, at the designated time, 
well, then their lives are forfeit. Well, well, well. That little caveat. I mean, luckily, you know, the designated time and place is probably very, very close to, uh, you know, a French continental. I say France because, you know, we have the Eiffel Tower in the backdrop of one of the, in one of the scenes. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's okay, just check into the continental, uh, you know, uh, and, and probably it's, it's in, you know, it's in the garden or the courtyard of said continental. That sh shouldn't be, shouldn't be too big of a thing. Oh, nothing can be that simple now, could it? Getting to, the <laughs> getting to the designated, the designated area of this contest. That's where we, that, and that's where we see, like, I'm, I'm surprised. I know that, I think most of the John Wick films have had early to mid-year releases. I'm surprised that they have it in March. They set it for March 2023, and that's, that's what the trailer says right now. So I'm taking, I'm taking that at face value, you know? Like, if there's, a, like, a delay, I'm not entirely sure why there would be, but that's what delays do. They're unexpected for the most part. I w I w this this would be a perfect summer blockbuster. So I'm wondering like why it's so early in the year. But my biggest my biggest I mean we got and we have the talent we have the talent on this but like last in uh, in the third entry we had Mark Tacascos who has had a, a very good uh, career in martial arts oriented action movies for ooh, over over two decades you know. Then we have, like, yeah, and you keep, you keep hearing me say this name because this, this is the name that stands out. Um, Hiroyuki Sanada. Hiroyuki Sanada is, he's been making action films longer than I've been alive. I mean, this, this man, he was, I mean, he was a student under the late, great Sonny Chiba. And like, I, anyways, before I start gushing and fanboying, uh, like, like giving fanboy trivia about Hiroyuki Sanada. We also have Donnie Yen. Uh, anybody, anybody who's been familiar with kung fu films of the last couple of decades should know Donnie Yen. So, and we see Donnie Yen as one of the assassins of the high table. It's in the trailer. It's not a spoiler. So we have this amazing talent on display. And now we just have to see... We just have to see it end. You know? We don't, the fans, we don't want it to end. I, the, the choice of Seasons in the Sun, I was like, there's such a weight to that. Isn't there? It's like, because anybody who's, um, Terry Jackson? I think that's the name. Uh, the uh, Seasons in the Sun, for those of you who are un unfamiliar, uh, it's a song. It's a song about a young man dying. You know, but like, uh, but movie ninja. Does, does that give away the end? Does it? I don't know. We shall see. John Wick has survived these last three chapters. So who is to say? Uh, the, but there's also in the lyrics of the song itself. There's also a struggle. Now it's a, mostly a struggle of the spirit in the song. But, you know, like, like it, it's hard to yield to that mortal finality. It is. So, it's about, it's about conclusions. It's about, like, the, the last ultimate act of any living human. You know, it's about death. Does that mean we will lose our, our, our beloved John Wick? I, I don't know. But... Clearly, we are in for a spectacular ending. And I, I like this. I like the indication. Anybody who's heard me talk about the John Wick series, the, I was, the only thing I was mildly disappointed about with the end of film three was that I didn't, I didn't know where we're going with this. I didn't know where we're going with this. Like, how long will the franchise go? And now this seems, and I really, really hope, I really, really do, that this will be the last movie. 
so many franchises, they end they more often than not they end up just overstaying their welcome, and it's by and large to the detriment of the story, the characters, and it it, it just really goes it just really goes badly once a franchise just like when there's no story to tell and yet the franchise continues. Jurassic Park, prime prime example. Hmm? Just, anyways. So, but this was a magnificent trailer. I'm very much looking forward to like the end, the end of the road. Like, and you know, I, I am, I'm excited. Like, even just I. You know, and I will like you know, be before it comes out, uh, and and I'm making this declaration. I will discuss and go over my thoughts over the other three films that have like you know that have made up the John Wick series. But for now, if you have not seen the trailer, please, please, do it. if you are a fan of action films and you have not seen the trailer, I highly recommend. Seeing the trailer, I am very excited that we are having this this magnificent conclusion to a platinum level. Like the, the John Wick series has raised the standard for for action films, you know. And I will be uh, one way one way or another. I will I will be highly anticipating this this entry. Well. Have you already seen the trailer? What are your thoughts on it? Please let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much for joining me here at Movie Ninja, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.